Hey guys, Clifford Perch here. I want to share a couple of different ways that I rig a drop shot. And uh, the nice thing about a drop shot is I can fish specific cover with it. And generally it's a vertical presentation. But what I've got here, this is a weedless setup. So basically I'm suspending my worm, you know, up off the bottom with this little weight. A lot of times uh, it's a pretty lightweight technique. And uh, I'm able to fish around dock poles and maybe some brush and even some grass cover uh, when I rig it weedless like this. And a lot of times if I'm fishing a straight tail worm like that, it's, it's going to be rigged weedless for me. And uh, it gets in and out of cover and uh, that way you, you have more chance of, of fishing and getting bit before you get snagged up. So that's something that I'm going to be doing uh, around most places in the country. That's, that's how I like to rig it most of the time. Now when I go smallmouth fishing and get up north in general, a lot of times I start using a nose hook and, and usually it's because we're in a little bit less uh, cover. Mainly it's usually rock and sand bottom and uh, open water. But you can see I've got a little nose hook. Um, this is just the big bite bait smallie smasher and I've got a little nose hook where I've just come in the bottom center of the bait and then I come out just to where the hook point just barely pokes out the front and what happens is is that keeps it kind of even where it's not just spinning real bad every time you reel it up but uh, my open nose hook is typically what I'm going to use for for smallmouth and a lot of times for spotted bass too but uh, uh, it's the same technique I've got my little drop shot weight down here suspending the bait up off the bottom and uh, but this one I'm going to be using the open nose hook um, I like the similar rod for, for both situations this is a Phoenix uh, 7.6 medium action the reason I want a medium action is that soft tip allows them to take that bait in and start to swim off with it before they sense that that's you know that, that they're hooked and then once you let that tip load up I've still got lots of backbone and mid rod and where I can I can I can go ahead and bow up on them and get that hook kind of driven into where I, I get a good hook set so uh, soft tip basically you know I like that medium action rod uh, and and again you're, you're not just crossing their eyes with a hook set, you're letting them load up and bowing it up and winding fast. And I just keep lots of good pressure, try to keep the rod bowed, and uh, that's how I'm gonna fight them on my drop shot. But that's my two favorite ways to rig it. Um, again, you know, shallow cover, a little bit heavier cover, cover, you can beef up your rig a little bit, but that's the main two ways that I like to fish a drop shot.